Okay, kid, you are hurting me in my soul here. I am high key mad. What's up, everybody? Happy New Year's Eve if you're watching this on the day it uploads, or happy 2023 if you're watching any other day. I'm so excited to ring in the new year with you guys and a colorful episode of the Not So Very Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one family that you play for 10 generations, and each generation is themed after a different color. We are currently on the peach generation. Our tree will be leaving us after today, so say goodbye. It was nice having you. I love your tree. In other news, if you you haven't watched my Wednesday video, you might have not heard that it is January once again in this January, just like last one. I'm moving uploads to once a week instead of twice a week, just to give me a little bit of a break to recoup at the beginning of the year, you know, brainstorm new content, etc. So you're gonna get your videos once a week and it will interchange between the Not So Very and the Occult Baby Challenges. The next video after this one will be next Saturday and it will be an Occult Baby Challenge video. Since the last time you've seen the house, I have finally sat down to finish decorating the exterior. I know a lot of you guys were getting on my case about saying it wasn't a good enough garden, which I believe probably not very many of you actually have a garden. <laughs> I feel like anything that's like a pot of flowers or plants that were well-maintained in the outdoors counts for me as a garden. So we do technically have a well-maintained garden now. Without further ado, let's hop into this week's video. Welcome back to the house. If you guys haven't seen my stream, I actually finished the outdoor area. So I upgraded all of the garden. So there's a lot more garden going on. We have like a picnic area, area for the kids, a little bench. It's looking pretty good. To Today in Sims time is New Year's Eve, which is very fortuitous. So we're celebrating today. We might end up talking to our sister tomorrow, but today is the kids' birthday. So we're gonna start the day by having a family dance party in the living room. Look at these kids. This is everything. I love this. Ooh, Rose breaking it down. August is stunned with dancing to music. Okay, that's okay. You can sit and chat on the couch. Ooh, and Rose likes pop music. That makes me happy. We're getting our New Year's Eve on. Let's practice singing maybe a little bit. She is level three after all. Ooh, let's do a New Year's Eve toast. It's 1030. Oh, they both got a little cocktail. Out with the old and with the new. This year, I feel like Mark's like a huge new year for the whole family. I finally feel settled in the house. Jacqueline and Rose have kind of figured out their differences. Let's make some New Year's resolutions. Maybe her New Year's resolution is write a new book. Let's have that. That makes sense for Rose. Jacqueline, I think, her resolution will be maybe to get promoted at her job. I love these two new resolutions. Perfect. So now we're gonna do a little New Year's toast from Jacqueline to my family with my love. I hope we have a fantastic New Year together and happy birthday to the kids. Speaking of which, I think I might age them up now. Oh my gosh, our cat is sleeping on the top of the fridge. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Let's pull out a cake. Ooh, we have two cakes. What is done? So that's perfect. And let's age up these kidarinos. We'll have Rose age up the first child. All right, it's time for you to age up, Amber. I'm curious. Hopefully we have some good peach hairs. Otherwise, I might have to go custom content shopping after the fact. Happy birthday, Amber. And Jacqueline's celebrating you. Amber's taking a stroll outside in order to find some room to age up. And why don't you help blow candles for August? There she goes. Amber aged up and we get to give her her first official trait. Okay, we got foodie, lazy, and goofball. I'm gonna give her goofball first. So her skills that she needs are play an instrument, master gourmet cooking and comedy skills. So I feel like social will help the social butterfly aspiration. Amber is aged up. Oh my gosh, obviously we need a bit of a makeover. This is a bit of a chaotic look for her. August is aging up with Jacqueline. Happy birthday. Here we go. We'll randomize him. He's a perfectionist and we'll give him the creativity skill. Oh. Oh, look at him. I'm gonna check out these two in Kaz and see what they look like. Get a good look at them. August, I need you to have your curly hair again. I think this one was closest to what he had as a kid. We'll give him the skin details. I think we had the floor ones. And then we'll give him some eyelashes. I like his pajamas. His pajamas are fine. Maybe we'll give you some 
some slippers though. His everyday fit, I think maybe we'll do some like cottage living kind of fits on him. Sure, yeah, 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 sure. All right, this is August Berry. He's so sweet. Okay, now let's look at our sweet angel, Amber. Okay, Amber, let's see for the CC hair. Maybe this one is kind of the closest we'll get to like a peach. We definitely need to go custom content shopping. We might go for like a red, like a ginger red for peach for now. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go CC shopping. I don't think I had properly prepared. We're just looking orange right now. This actually looks kind of peachy. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. She's like coming into her own maybe with her own style now. So we've got to kind of let her do her own thing for a minute, which is kind of cute. I kind of like this look together. I know it doesn't quite match, but I think it's kind of the mismatchiness of it is fun. This is not going well. She's just essentially wearing orange most of the time, but I don't mind it. It's it's still pretty cute. This is our Amber Berry. She's a goofball and a social butterfly. And here is her brother, August, who is more of a perfectionist and an artistic boy. I'm happy with them. She's not gonna get new hair at the moment, but she'll get new hair at some point. And maybe some new fits too. We're gonna have to go CC shopping for her for sure. And I think for now, I think the twins will still share the room that they're when in. When they're teens, we'll move things around. The kids look so cute. All right, let's make over their room really fast. So my thought is that we would do a little like fun bunk bed situation. I like this one. I'm thinking we could do this over here and then we do the other bed that goes this way. Oh my gosh, that one's so fun. I haven't seen these swatches. I think we'll do this for his bed just so that the whole thing matches. Yeah, this makes sense. I think we'd want like maybe a cozy spot to sit, like this kind of thing. Maybe like a bedside table next to here could be good. Maybe something like this. There you go. Maybe that and like a couple books or something. Yeah, I think this is good. And then we'll do like some kids clutter. This is the kids room. I think it turned out kind of cute. This will be Amber's bed and this will be down here, August's bed. Perfect. And Amber is up. She's chilling. She's a little tired. Oh, well, why don't you go to bed so you don't miss the countdown to midnight? We don't have a TV to watch a countdown to midnight, so maybe we should rectify that. I know we've never had a TV in this house and it feels weird to get one. It also feels weird for like at midnight on New Year's to like not have a TV, you know? There we go. Okay, watch New Year's Eve TV. We can watch it up there. Amber, why don't you take a nap since you're tired? Rose is upstairs having a bath. Oh my gosh. So Amber Berry, let me see the social butterfly. Ooh, build adult social skills faster. Okay, let's see what all the other options are. I feel like creative skills might make more sense for her. All right, so we need an activity table for the kids. I mean, I guess we could put an activity table here instead of this. I like that one. We can make her inspired and then they can both draw. Nice. nice. But first they're having some yummy food. So cute. Look at little peach girl. He also loves making a resolution. Oh, you can make a resolution, buddy. Your resolution is to become a better student and your sisters will be to raise a skill, I think. Make a resolution to raise a skill. She likes the countdown to midnight. She doesn't really care about any of the other things. Whereas he really likes decorations, resolutions, and countdowns to midnight. Oh, I don't know if these kids are gonna make it to the New Year's countdown. They're gonna try, but they're probably a little tired because they woke up really early. Oh, Uncle Johnny said happy birthday. It looks like Uncle Johnny called to say hi. Oh, we got some dance party in the bathroom. Let's do some flirting. Oh, no, apparently not. We won't be flirting. Our son has come upstairs to use their sink. He can't reach the bed. I'm wondering if it's the clutter. He still can't reach the bed. Well, can she not reach the bed either? No, she can reach her bed. He just can't get into this bed, which is odd, but I guess I can make the bed like this. He still can't. Okay, let's try getting you a different bed. He can't get in a bed at all. Great. Is it this? I'm just gonna like slowly remove objects in the room. I am high key mad. Okay, kid, you are hurting me in my soul here. I don't know what you want or what you need or why you can't get into this bed. Why can't this kid use this bed? I'm gonna just put everything in my inventory right now that is near this bed and see 
why, 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 why can't you get in this bed? Can you get in it now? Now he can get in this bed. What? Why can't he get in the bed over there, but he can't get in this bed? Okay, I'm gonna just like try to reorganize the whole bedroom. If there's a bed here and a bed here, can you get in the bed over here? Okay, can she get in the bed over here? Why is that? Okay, interesting. It is what it is. Let's see if we could pop anything back under here. I don't know what to do about any of this. She can still do that. Can she draw shapes now that she's inspired? Oh, that's convenient timing that you're inspired, sweetie. Okay, she can use this. So I guess we'll just keep the room like this. It's a little disjointed. Maybe August didn't like being in a bunk bed. He wanted his bed freestanding. It's fine. Why don't you go to sleep since you finished your picture? While well, inspired, we'll put the picture on the wall over here. You're gonna go to bed. Okay, who's over? Oh, Briar came over. We gotta have a private conversation. So let's go sit together over here. And we're gonna have a deep conversation to my sister about why she's flirting with my wife. Ask about another sim. We're gonna ask about Johnny, I think. Johnny is my ball and chain, we're married. I don't love you calling him a ball and chain. Let's have a deep conversation. Be like, hey, I didn't like you flirting with my wife. Please don't do it again. Kids, do you wanna wake up and watch it? They're wrecked, but they do wanna watch it. So come on, go watch the Countdown to Midnight, kids. I know you guys are tired and smelly, but come on down. Oh my gosh, my child sunk through the stairs, but now my other child's asking about being a ninja. You know what, start practicing your hiding. It's fine, August. Come watch the countdown to midnight, kids, okay? They can't? Well, come sit here. Make your aunt move so you can watch the countdown to midnight. They're literally acting like they can't. I'm so confused. No one could watch it? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know if there's a glitch or what, but they didn't get to watch it. This is frustrating. <laughs> We're gonna go back to our bedroom, which is a bit chaotic looking, but honestly, it suits, I suppose, Amber and her gen very well. Her little chaotic bean. And August is having his food. Then they have to introduce themselves to Briar, because I guess they haven't actually like chatted with their Aunt Briar. Goof around with Aunt Briar. Share your resolution with your mom. August made a resolution to become a better student. Get started on that homework. Well, you can if you want to get started on your homework. Well, you know what? It's Sunday. Don't do that now. I think it's time for you to go to back to sleep. So why don't you go to bed? All right, the kids are asleep. Rose is also asleep. Jacqueline is alone in the house with Briar. I think Jacqueline's gonna go, hey, everyone's asleep, so you might as well go. I'm putting boundaries up. I love my wife. We figured things out. Oh my goodness, did you just pee yourself, sweetie? Oh, I forgot to change this to a toilet for you guys because you guys changed up. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got it. Let me just grab really fast the toilet. What are you doing, August? Why are you standing like that? There you go, go to bed. Amber's taking a bath. She wanted to take a bath in mom's room because her moms have a lovely speaker in the room. She wants to jam. She's gonna take a shower, use the toilet, and then go to bed and everybody will be asleep. And it will have been a very good birthday slash New Year's, even if we couldn't somehow see the countdown, which makes me feel like maybe we should just delete the TV. You know, it wasn't meant to be us having a TV. Look at all the fireflies outside. Oh, how cute is that? Can they like come out here and catch them? I wish there was like an interaction to catch fireflies. Now she's going up to bed in her nice peachy room. And look who's up first is Jacqueline, who's a little tense about her work. So let's regain our passion. Nothing good from this job. Oh my gosh. Also, if you guys noticed, there's a death in the family. Johnny's brother just died. So that also might be why Johnny didn't come to New Year's. Maybe he wasn't in the mood. Might be that there's nothing wrong with their relationship necessarily. In fact, I don't want anything to be wrong with any relationship. It was just a misunderstanding. Okay, I'm good. What is this look, Jacqueline? Just rocking something new. Okay, bye, have fun at work. I guess this is the work fit. Rose is having her nice breakfast, her grand breakfast. She'll probably help the kids with their first day of homework. We're feeling inspired, so we might want to go sit and try to write a book this morning. Let's write a genre book. Let's write a fantasy. It's one of my favorites. We're doing our like fantasy series with cloak of red and hair of gold. So we'll do another one that's going to be a retelling of Snow White and it'll be Apple of Poison. Sure. Works for me. All right, let's go have you grab some food. Of course, you want a cake. Let's not do cake for breakfast. Grab some stew instead. And August is having a nice bath in mom and mom's bathtub. Amber is having a good time. We could draw another drawing while inspired for Amber. We probably should take some photos of the kids to put on the walls. Get inspired. 
in the room there with your mom. She's sad because she had an awful holiday. I thought the holiday was fine for the kids. She's moping around outside now. Well, that's fine, I guess. Enjoy your cloud gazing, I guess. We could change the game. Let's do Sabak. I don't know what that is. She's not feeling super inspired, but she's feeling a little inspired. Why don't you play cards with him? Can you guys not play? I guess maybe they're a little young for it. I don't know. Play cards with Rose. Oh, she can't play with her brother, but you can play on the playground. A little jungle gym moment. Having some fun playing outside today on this beautiful spring day. You can listen to some music. Rose is having a good time inside. She's like watching the kids from inside as they play outside from her little spot. It's so cute. Look at Amber over there bopping to the music. That sounds like heaven. We achieved our book from Rose. I wonder if it's like a bestseller. It's an excellent, so it's not a bestseller, but the kids have some homework to do. So why don't you both do your homework this morning and mom will come out and help you with it. Ooh, Jacqueline brought home some money today. Oh, maybe you could come over and help your son with his homework. Oh, and look, she's so happy. She thinks it's well decorated environment. Thank you, Jacqueline. I tried. Rose is getting a phone call. Oh my gosh, Yusuf and I just welcomed home our new baby. Are you able to stop by? Yes, we can stop by. We'll stop by and see you and your husband and your baby that you had. Happy for you, Stacy. Stacy's now living on the beach in a nice little home. There's the baby. So I think this is your husband. He put on a lot of highlighter. We are down for it. So this is Yusef's teen son that she married into having that kid. This is their house. It's a small one. Let's uh, go coo at the baby. Let's go see the baby. Jacqueline's a little sad. Jacqueline, why don't you take a little phone call to a sadness hotline again? Rose is gonna go see hi to the baby because Rose does love babies. And the kids, I mean, it's the the beach so kids you guys can play on the swings rose is gonna coo over a baby oh the baby didn't like that apparently there we go hello baby oh and jacqueline's like fishing for stuff oh and they're in little swimsuits gonna go play on the swing where are you going august no he's coming he's gonna push his sister oh no he's swinging the adult left and let them have the swing that's nice amber where are you going okay she's gonna go swing at some point we're talking to stacy and her husband we should introduce ourselves to the husband husband here. They look happy together. Jacqueline, she's digging. Okay. Oh, wow. She doesn't know Stacy. Come talk to Stacy. Stacy's my childhood friend. She's so tired, but she's putting up a good front. Oh my God. Why is my daughter all the way over here? Why weren't you swinging with your brother? Oh, looks like the adult came back. Okay, well, why don't you and your brother build a sand sculpture together? Okay. Try that instead. She's going to chat with Porter too, who's like a teen. And she's like, wow, he's so cool. He's got a nose ring and he's a teen boy. Oh, wow. Apparently my son is getting what looks like a fruit bowl, a fruit salad. Great. Happy for you. Amber's running around the beach having fun. Look at these two getting along. Well, happy. And what's Rose doing? Rose is chatting with Yusef. We're introducing ourselves to their son, Porter. Stacy's going to go for a swim. Oh, and Jacqueline's chilling, relaxing while knitting. She does love a good knit. Oh, Amber and August are making a sand sculpture. I was so happy. This was such a fun visit. I think we're all gonna head home. You have a beautiful beach home. The kids are coming. Oh, look at them. Chase's little butterflies. They liked their little vacation moment on the Sunday. Oh my gosh, our poor, poor wife is so dead tired. So she's gonna go to sleep. Rose is tippy tapping away at this computer. The kids are here. They're chilling. Why don't you finish doing your homework, kids? I know you're tired, but it's only seven and you need to do your homework before school for tomorrow. August is sitting outside. Oh, I love that he's outside in the yard doing his homework. It makes me incredibly happy. Rose is taking out the garbage, cleaning up the house, being good. Ooh, oh, taking out the garbage here too. Okay. Sounds like someone's talking outside my house. They are. Is that Johnny? No, it's not. It's Octavio Peck is chatting up someone outside of our house. Let's take down all our decor. It's time for the decor to go away. My son, are you done? You do seem like you could be a little cold. He's done with his homework. Good job. Job, buddy. Why don't you go to bed? It looks like your sister and you want to go to bed 
that early. Rose, why don't you publish your new book? Still just a notable newcomer. She's like not that involved on social media or getting things together. Wow, looks like everyone's a little wrecked from their trip to the beach today. So we're all going to sleep. August is gonna go get some food. Who's here? Uncle Johnny's here. Invite you in. What's up, Uncle Johnny? I was just coming up to get a milk. Everyone's kind of asleep, but you can come on in. He's so cute. Little well, August to be like, hi, let's have a little funny introduction to Uncle Johnny since you don't really remember him from when you were a kid. I feel like August and Uncle Johnny could be like fun friends. They're having a nice little bonding moment together. Our little boy August might also be a little jokester too, you know, just like his sister. Maybe Johnny came over because he felt bad about skipping out on meeting the kids for New Year's. So Briar was like, go on, just head over whatever you want, Johnny. It's okay. He's gonna go to the bathroom. Oh, he needs to go. A little waddle moment to the bathroom here. Oh, Uncle Johnny's taking the trash out for us. That's nice of him. Why don't you play cards together in your little tent? You show Uncle Johnny your tent. It's getting late, so Uncle Johnny might need to go after your card game since it's almost midnight and you have school tomorrow. But I mean, how could you not want this as a kid? This looks awesome. It sounds so fun. Maybe I just want to go camping. <laughs> They're playing their card game. He's feeling so happy. He had a nice drink. He's having a pleasant conversation with Uncle Johnny and he likes the environment that he's in. And all the fireflies are out, flying around. It's so sweet. I love this little backyard. It's so very good. I'm happy with it. I think I did a pretty good job. All right, Uncle Johnny, I think it's time for you to go home because I'm gonna go to bed. But it was so fun spending time together, some quality time. I don't know you, Fatia, so why don't you leave? Bye, Uncle Johnny. Looks like mom woke up. No, 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 don't wake the kids up. Don't wake the kids up. Why is she so sad? Oh, from her unfulfilled dreams and her people person lifestyle. Is Ash stuck up there? No, ah, Ash is turning into an elder cat. No, Ash. Ash is now past his peak and has become an elderly cat. Don't you dare say that about Ash, game. Ash is not past his peak, okay? Ash is our sweet baby angel who's giving us lots of comfort and love. Ooh, now we're angry. Okay, we need to calm ourselves down. Now we're feeling calm. Confident. Amazing. Confiding our problems to our cat is always a good idea. Now we're gonna go grab some cake for breakfast because that's fun at 3.30 a.m. They never go through this way. I'm wondering if maybe like this area is kind of blocked with the chairs. Maybe I do a smaller table. Instead of six chairs, we do four. I like how like this one looks a little hand spun. Kind of nice. We could put it in a different color. I like the white. White table's fine. Let's see if this helps. I don't know if it will, but we could try. Yeah, she still walks all the way around to get over there. This is not a functional table at all. We'll just talk with our daughter, I guess. What do we want to do? We want to fertilize a plant. Okay, we can do that. All right, we'll switch these out for our spring plants. There we go. We're going to work on our skill a little bit before work today because we do want the promotion. But I think we can evolve these plants now. Good job, Jacqueline. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? You haven't gone to recess yet, so you're pretending. But you need to ask the kids if you can join in. What a goofy little girl. She's like making up these cute little stories. Actually, let's not have cake for breakfast on our first day of school. Let's have mom cook everyone a breakfast. Eggs and toast for the fam. And you can even help. Why don't you help mom by cooking? Cooking with her mom is how she will want to enjoy gourmet cooking in the future. Amber's like, oh my gosh, mom, I'm so hungry. I can't wait till we get food. They're having some nice bonding time cooking these eggs together. Oh goodness. Rose, I thought you were a better cook than that. Wow, we really burned the crap out of those eggs. Grab a serving. Let's get breakfast, everyone. Where are you going, Amber? She's like, I'm going to eat in my bedroom. Or no, in my mom's room. Well, great. At least our son will eat breakfast with us at the table. She wants to become friends with Uncle Johnny. She probably heard August tell her all about it today. And she's like, I want to be friends with Uncle Johnny. You will be, girly. You will be. Oh my gosh, my kids are going to school. Goodbye, sweetie. P, have fun at school today. August, you too. I like that August is already at school and Amber is a little late. During free time, August drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. It caused lots of giggling and disrupted the class at school day. August, he might be a little bit more of a troublemaker than we thought, but we encourage creativity in this household. That's 100% something Rose would say. And she'd like wake up her wife and be like, babe, our son was so creative in school today. <laughs> today, the principal is visiting August's class. Everyone 
long as to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid behind him has decided to start pelting him with something. I think he would ask the kid to stop. I think he'd turn around and be like, why? And Amber has a thing going on at school as well. It's a friend's birthday. Everybody seems to be talking about a birthday party that Amber wasn't invited to. She thought that the host was her friend. It doesn't make any sense. Does she ask her friend or let it go? I think she's gonna ask the friend about it. August scribbles a note and the kid passes it back to the kid. Stop it or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and fires it at August, but it misses and rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets in trouble and August gets off scot-free. Oops, turns out the party wasn't even for Amber's friend. It was only a show on TV. Amber feels a little silly, but very glad she asked. Good job, Amber. Delirious from illness. Oh no, she's got a cold. We're gonna take some medicine and then, Rose, why don't you go and enjoy the warm weather and do a nice yoga routine, maybe some family-friendly yoga. You could even have your kids do it with you at some point. That'd be cute. Here we go. Beautiful yoga time. Perfect form from Rose in her garden. Jacqueline, do you not have work today? She does not. Oh, nice. Jacqueline gets to sleep in. I love that fox running in and out of my gate. The fox has zoomies. Oh, we got some mail here. We got us pay our bills. Thank you, bills man. We will pay our bills shortly. Our wife is still not woken up. Still very tired, but we paid our bills. I'm excited for Peach Jen to have a dog. It's been a minute since we've had a dog. And I feel like Peach Jen's gonna like need a dog because she's more like goofy, silly, outgoing, adventurous. She's feeling good. She's feeling medicated. She's feeling, she's like doing her yoga. Oh look, they're peeing together. How weird. <laughs> <laughs> Amber and August are back. Oh, look at August. They're both feeling more responsible. Good kid. Why don't you use the toilet really fast? Amber, why don't you listen to some music and take a bath to de-stress a bit? You two kind of get your lives in order. Then you can do your homework outside in the pretty yard. Oh, Yusuf thinks Roseberry Swan wants to become best friends. Yusuf, I think you're awesome. I don't want to be best friends. I'm so sorry. Oh God, he's here. I'm sorry, Yusuf. I really like you and I think you're awesome, but... I have friends and I just met you, so it's fine. How's August doing? August is great. He's gonna go play a little bit. He needs some fun too. Don't go play outside with his toys. Kids radio. Listen to the kids radio while you sit. He's sitting with his mom. Do you wanna play cards with her? There they go. They're playing cards together. So cute. Amber's still grooving to her music, but why don't you go sit outside with them and maybe do your homework in the tent? Oh my gosh. Literally, you need to wake up, Jacqueline. You've slept the entire day. I cannot believe you're still asleep. Chill out with everybody. Maybe do some yoga. And why don't you, sweet girl, do your homework while you're sitting in here? You're not gonna sit outside and do it? Oh no, she wants to sit at the table. Oh, what a good girl. Look at this family outdoor time. It's so nice. Jacqueline doing a bit of yoga to de-stress. She's feeling really good after sleeping, you know? She's relaxed. She's working on her yoga. August, why don't you do your homework now? Oh, Rose likes the kids music. She's like, you know what? This music's pretty good. Sue me. That's what Rose is saying. All right, Rose, why don't you help your son with his homework? Amber's still working. Jacqueline, over you're finished, you could help your daughter with some homework too, if you think. Oh, and she could discuss her fears. Well, maybe you should discuss your fears with your wife. Oh, these two having some good times. How are your plants doing? They all look pretty good. Maybe you'll do some research later so you can up your skill. Amber's homework is complete. Good job, Amber. Oh my goodness. She's already a C student. She's like getting really up there. Why don't you play with your emotion? Jacqueline's gonna go chat with Rose a bit. August, are you finished with your homework? Yes, he is. And Jacqueline's gonna talk with Rose, I think, about her fears. They're like, I feel like my work has been not as important lately. And Rose is like, I understand. That happens. It's okay. You're still crushing it at work and you'll get promoted very soon. Ooh, and then Rose flirted a little bit. She put her little neck out there. Go give her a little suave kiss, maybe. Amber's playing with her emotion. Oh my goodness, Amber, what happened to your face, sweetie? Giggly from illness. Oh no, sweetheart. Did you catch something at school? I'm gonna order you some medicine here. And I wanna see the suave kiss between these two. Oh, August like, get a room, moms. Amber, how you feeling? Could you clean up, please? Looks like the cat threw up and then is eating it, which is great. All clean, the two worked hard. August, you're inspired. That's good. Why don't you draw some vehicles? He's gonna go upstairs and do his creative things. Amber, meanwhile, had a nice little stargaze. Maybe you can play with the clay as well. And meanwhile, while she's inspired, I'm gonna have mom out here researching these plants to up her skill. How are you doing, Amber? Are you becoming any more inspired? Yes, okay, now she's inspired. Once your brother is finished,
finished, you can go upstairs and draw too. August is drawing a police car. Maybe that's when uh, Amber's like, I could do that. I could be a police officer. I could be a detective, solve crimes. That could be me. I could also be a comic. She's dreaming big. Great, she is feeling herself. Why don't you draw some vehicles too, sweetie? Oh, she's a little tired. It's okay though. August is going to bed. He has drawn one picture while inspired. So we're well on our way with both of their artistic prodigy requirements. And then where is Jacqueline? She's still researching, working on her skill to level up her gardening skill. Amber reached creativity level four. Good job, Amber. Oh, maybe it's time to go inside. It's storming. You can research inside. Please run inside. Please don't get electrocuted. I will be so sad. Jacqueline is inside. She's feeling fine. Why don't you read the gardening book? I don't think you've ever quite finished it. So she's gonna read it. Maybe upstairs in her room? No, she's gonna read it in here. Everyone else is asleep. She's staying up late because her days and nights seem confused now, but it's not leveling up her gardening skill. I guess this means that we need to purchase new books. Gardening level two, getting your thumbs green. Everyone's asleep. Oh, August woke up. Why are you waking up, sweetie? Oh, he's scared of his thunderstorms. Why don't you take a little shower? Amber really needs to go to the bathroom. Girl, go ahead, go. I'm gonna give you some toilet paper because I realized I never added one. There we have it. Why don't you talk with Ash? Ash seems to need some lovings. Looks like Jacqueline needs to go to work or at least get up and get ready for work. Maybe we'll take a shower really quick in the kids' room. Why don't you clean up everything for us, little man? Amber's socializing with the cat. Oh, I love that. Rose, why would you walk in on him while he's, oh my gosh. There is a sink in the kitchen. Why would you walk into the bathroom? Amber and August start school soon. Oh, and Jacqueline's off to work. Okay, bye Jacqueline. Have a good day at work. Still not level five of gardening, but it's okay. We'll get there soon. Oh no, Ash is upset. Why are you upset, Ash? Is sick. Oh no, we need to give you a vet treat. Well, we got some, so it's okay, Ash. We will treat you right away. You're not feeling well. I get it. Sometimes that happens. Here you go, Ash. Feel better. Just want Ember to get to the next level of art. Oh my God, she did. She did it without me noticing. Artistic prodigy, woohoo. She needs to achieve a level five creative skill and play with three toys is her next level. Local green thumbs are holding a harvest off. We did this before. We always called the finalist, so this time we're gonna spectate. Jacqueline doesn't enjoy competition, so decided to watch the contest. Jacqueline was captivated by the produce produced. The heated contest finally came to a close and the grand prize was awarded to a local farmer who grew a potato the size of a car. Wow, we're dazed. From illness, you're sick again? Oh my gosh, this is that time of year where the kids always get sick and then they get the parents sick and then the kids get sick again and then the parents get sick again and it's a nonstop passing back and forth of germs. Tis the season. When August gets to class, he realizes his timeline is due. The one he was supposed to start weeks ago. He eyes the stack of papers piling up on his teacher's desk. All he needs are a few minutes alone with one. Does he try to copy a classmates or confess the truth? Oh, we did not raise a boy to copy a classmates. However, what do I think you do? I don't know. He seems like a good egg so far. He seems a little mischievous sometimes, but I think mostly he's a good egg. So I think he'd confess the truth. August teacher commends him for his honesty and marks an F next to his name. Next time you won't forget. She smiles. Oh, that's rude. She said, good job. And then gave him an F. At least give him like, like a passing grade. Don't fail him, so mean. Oh my gosh, why are you outside? Rose, I need to fix this rooting, it's so bad. Ugh, that was a lot. Why don't we comfort Ash, give a treat, hug. It's okay, Ash, you're okay. Ash is getting extra lovings lately because Ash deserves it. Oh no, why is she scared? Oh, thunderstorms, the kids are scared at school of the thunderstorm. They're like, I don't like it. Oh, Ash is singing us a little song. Amazing. Singing about thunderstorms, apparently this cat is. Good job, Ash. She's feeling delighted. She was like perfect pitch from listening to a pet sing. Wow, who knew a pet could sing so well? She was delighted by that. Rose lost her celebrity level, but that's okay. Honestly, it's really hard to keep a celebrity level up as a writer in The Sims. Oh gosh, okay. Why don't you run inside, Jacqueline? It is storming out. Careful, careful. Oh, she's tense. Needs a day off from work. Okay, well, why don't you grab some food from the kitchen? She knew she's gonna have that pumpkin stew. Ooh, delicious choice. Gonna eat it upstairs. Apparently chilling in her office. Oh yes, a perfect place to enjoy your pumpkin stew. And then you can meditate, it could be perfect. Oh, and the kids are back. <gasps> I bet one of them got a grades up. Amber got her grades up and so did August. Congrats kids. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you.
you both. They're both a little nervous from the storm, but they did such a good job. I'm going to leave this one right here. So next time we'll be definitely continuing to work on finishing out their skills. I'm thinking I'm going to try to like have them both master at least two of these aspirations, if not more. And of course, getting them to be A students. Just setting them up as much as possible for success when they're teens. And I will see you guys in the new year. Next time you'll see this, an episode of the Not So Very Challenge. It will not be next week, but it will be the week after that. So until then, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!